how do you create a monster? Step one is to take an already extreme car and turn it up to 11. That's the recipe Lister has followed to create the LFTC 666. It might be based on a Jaguar F-Type, but it now features new wheels and tires, new suspension, carbon fiber parts, and an engine that now makes a devilish 666 brake horsepower. It's a recipe that's maybe best described as demonic. Demonic really isn't a good enough word to describe this kind of performance. Put your foot to the floor in this thing and you find yourself having to invent new words to describe just how fast it is. A normal F-Type R reaches 0 to 60 in about four seconds. This thing, 3.2. A normal F-Type R has a top speed of 186 miles an hour. This thing, 205. Those are crazy numbers. This thing's a Lambo killer. The standard F-Type V8R has a pretty impressive 550 horsepower. In this thing, it's been upgraded to 666. That extra power comes courtesy of a smaller supercharger pulley, which helps the system create more boost. More boost means more air. More air means more fuel. More fuel means a bigger bang. To cope with all of this, the Lister also has a custom intercooler and air filter, as well as a new engine management system. And the torque is just unrelenting. This thing makes 720 Newton meters. That's 60 more than a Porsche 911 Turbo. And if you're wondering how on earth it puts it down into the tires, all wheel drive. There's no brake in the acceleration, just a savage, unrestrained assault. So the Lister pulls like a train. It's loud, it's fast, and it's fun. But as addictive and as enjoyable as it is to drive, there are one or two problems that make this car slightly less than perfect. We've got to talk about the name. Why have they called this car the LFTC 666? Lister used to call their cars really cool things like Storm and Nobly. Nobly is a terrible name for a car, but it's better than LFTC 666. I get it, they've tried to make it sound devilish, but it just sounds like the devil's fax machine. And there's another big problem. This might have a new name, but it really is just a Jaguar F-Type and a modified F-Type that has a starting price of 140,000 pounds. And that price is a little bit of an issue. The Jaguar F-Type R convertible has a list price of £130,000. And, as with all cars, if you shop on Auto Trader, you can get yourself one at a discount. In this case, £95,000, 30 grand off the RRP. The Lister costs 140 grand. To me, that seems a little bit frivolous. You've really got to question whether it's worth the money. To be fair, Lister has definitely tried to put their own stamp on things, literally you get a Lister logo instead of a Leaper. Lister on the key, Lister on the retractable door handles, and even Lister puddle lights that project from the doors. And there are a couple of unique touches. First and foremost, this bumper. Looks gorgeous, super aggressive. So aggressive, there's actually no place to put a number plate. Technically legal, but we won't talk about that. Then there's the carbon fiber front splitter. About half an inch off the ground, you will smash it. Lovely yellow stripe across the bonnet, contrasting perfectly with this black paintwork. Then, of course, you've got the gorgeous Boston wheels, co-developed by Lister. Then, lovely Project 7 style decal on the door, carbon fiber door sill, and this gorgeous and enormous rear diffuser. The interior is also recognizable as an F-Type, but it's had a decent working over too. Lister has fitted the cabin with Bridge of Weir leather and will give owners the option of nearly 40 different color choices, five different stitching options, as well as all the options you get from Jaguar themselves. It's actually really nice in here. I've always had a soft spot for the Jaguar F-Type's interior. I love the way it's so driver-centric. You've got this gorgeous handle in the center console, which kind of denotes this is the driver's area, that's the passenger area, don't touch anything over here. And if you get scared, well, you've got something to grab onto. Practicality is pretty standard for a sports car, i.e. not that great really. The door bins are pretty small, but there's enough room for a can of Red Bull or a can of coffee. Got a couple of cup holders in the center. 
I love the way this takes ages to open. It makes you wait before you can place your drink in the beverage holder. Then of course you've got a centre console with not too much room, enough for a mobile phone, plus two USB ports in there, and back here, a little bit of ladies stocking for, I'm not really sure what to be honest. Lister have done a really good job. Is it a 140 grand interior? No, everything is as you'd expect in an F-Type. Except actually, there's one thing this car does better than any F-Type, and it involves this button. <laughs> It's not so much the wild performance that makes the LFT C666 so special. It's the sound. Listen to that. What you're hearing and what everyone within a 200 mile radius is hearing is the sound of a bespoke titanium Lister exhaust. It sounds like a washing machine full of chainsaws. If the devil stepped on a piece of Lego in the night, that is a noisy with me. I've heard a lot of V8 exhausts in my life. The standard F-Type R sounds incredible, but this, this is different gravy. People with loud cars will tell you that whenever they come across a bridge or a tunnel, they like to drop the windows or put the top down and just let the exhaust scream. But in this thing, you want to think twice about that. It's painful. And while this racket might be okay when all you have is a few sheep as your audience, people in town might be slightly less appreciative. It is a wonderful noise, but not everyone will think it's wonderful, especially driving through town. It does have a quiet mode, but even that is loud enough to wake the dead. Just listen to it. <laughs> Sounds like Satan's popcorn machine. Sorry. <laughs> what can you do? What can you do? I can't, sh I can't shut it up. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to live with this thing. You start it in the morning and it will annoy your neighbors. Drive it past the row of parked cars and it will set off car alarms. This is the car to buy if you like annoying people. The suspension will annoy everyone too. Not because it's firm. The ride is actually quite compliant but because you have to slow down way more than most people for every speed bump. Getting it up a curb or onto a raised driveway is also problematic, especially if you want to keep those expensive carbon fiber bits in one piece. Normal F-types just don't have this problem. They're cars that you can drive with reckless abandon. It makes you wonder whether it makes financial sense to spend more money on a version of a car that's slightly faster, sure, but is not only more expensive, but also far less usable day to day. Yes, clearly there are a lot of ways that this car doesn't make sense. Thinking about it logically, there's almost no way to justify spending £140,000 on a Jag that's less usable day to day than the real thing. But see, the thing is, the Lister wasn't designed to be a logical car. It was designed to stir the emotions, to give you bragging rights, to make you smile. And there's no question that it's massively successful in all of those areas. The LFT C666 takes the standard F-Type and just turns everything up to 11. It's more beautiful, more aggressive, and just demonically fast. Whether or not it's worth 140 grand, of course, depends on whether or not you can afford it, but there's no denying this car is incredibly special. The way it sounds, the way it makes you feel, it's just incredible. And it's hard to put a price on that.